Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to an extra special bitter. Is it actually special? Well, I don't really know. It's called an extra special bitter. It is from the new Bristol brewery and it's called Bristolian Rhapsody which is the only acceptable way to say that phrase. Um, an extra special bitter at 5.8%. Um, it's got some monkeys in a hot air balloon going over a famous landmark that I should probably recognize. And um, is that the Clifton Suspension Bridge? Or it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't look like it, but it might be. Um, maybe it does look like it and I've forgotten what it looks like. Who knows? Um, it says hands on beer or hands on beers underneath New Bristol Brewery. I don't know what that means. Um, to put a, just a bit of perspective on how my week's going. I got this out to review, took some photos of it and had it sat here, right there, on this table uh, three days ago. And I have not actually had a chance to drink a beer, never mind review one since, um, as such is my week. So I am, and I know it's become a thing, but I am excited uh, simply because, you know, Need, I just want, need, need the wrong word, that needs to suggest a problem. But I want to get into this one. Um, and yeah, as I said a few times before, I think Bitter's making a comeback and this may just prove it. So, no dilly dallying, no fannying about. That's an old term, fannying about. Anyway, um, let's get into it. Here's a quick look at the can. You can see that funky artwork I was referring to a minute ago. There you go. Monkey in a spacesuit in a hot air balloon, no less. A bridge in the background. I'm only, I mean, I don't recognise it as any particular bridge, but as I said, it's, uh, it's the only one really I know from Bristol, so it might be. But to be honest, it looks somewhere a bit more Mediterranean. Uh, so who knows? Um, let's get it open. Going for the old school, straight up pint glass. One of many reasons I really like bitter, it always pours well. And actually, to be honest, on this one, the head's actually a bit thin, but anyway, let's not complain about what we just applauded it for. Visually then, in the glass, it's, um, it's quite red, actually. Uh, a little bit of yeasty sediment just flown in there, so this might be uh, might be can conditioner. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I try not to read too much on the cans before getting into them. Um, it's pretty clear, actually. Uh, there's a dog here in the bottom of it, of course. Uh, that will <laughs> have come off me or the can or the glass, but uh, you can see quite a lot through it. Yeah, I mean, it's not clear, of course, it's quite deep red, but uh, it's a lot paler than maybe it looks. If I hold that up, you get an idea. Um, I just realised I've not turned the lights on behind me. Shall we do it? Shall we do it now? What colour shall we go for? There we go, a nice bluey purple. Um, kind of matches the can. Um, so, yeah, head's completely dissipated. Looks a bit thin, but a bit as often doing, that's not always a bad thing for these beers. So, uh, aroma-wise... Smells like nostalgia. Bit of dried fruit. Yeast comes through a bit, but it's not overly potent. Bit of hot body too. Smells like old pubs on a Friday night. But most bits it does, let's be honest. Um, it's like a dried, I was already said dried fruit, like a sultanery, raisiny kind of vibe to it. A bit like kind of tannins thing. That's all I'm really picking up. Um, it smells like it's going to be good. So let's do this. Cheers. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's a lot sweeter than I was expecting. Um, it's not too sweet, but it's just got a nice, really well-rounded caramel body to it. And it's got quite a strong kind of beery booze hit in the middle of there as well. It just kind of starts up one side with that strength and then rounds it off with the kind of sweeter caramel. That's really good. It is a touch thin. Would have liked it a bit with a bit more body on it, but mm, okay. Top to bottom taste test time. Initially bitter, tiny bit of combination at the front of the tongue. What you would expect really from this from this beer style. Second phase, 
starting to pick up a bit of the malt, a bit of the biscuity character. Subtle, but it's there. Then you start to get a bit more carbonation, a bit of the hop comes through. It's, um, I'm not picking out a particular variety, to be honest. Um, it's very, it feels quite traditional, but, hold on. Might be a touch of pininess in there, actually. Just a little bit, a little bit. There might be a new world hop in there. Um, and then you start to get this slightly, it feels boozier than it is almost, like a that rich, um, I'd say the rich sensation you get with a lot of Belgian beers, but it's not, or impy stouts or whatever, but it, don't, it doesn't taste like either of those. You just, it's that warming, it's that winter warming effect that a lot of dark beer has. Um, and you get that and it reaches a point where at least in the first few mouthfuls, not so much now I've drank a bit of it, you start to think, oh this could be a bit, this could be a bit much, a bit potent. And then just as you hit that peak of uncertainty, a nice big lick of kind of sweet caramel toasty goodness just comes and takes it away. And the finish is very traditional, a bit bitter, tiny bit of malt character sticks around, a bit of the caramel as well, leaves you wanting quite a bit more to be honest, so that is a cracking beer. Let's take a look at the can. Under the dog hair, all good seasoning of course. Uh, New Bristol Brewery, hands on beer, Bristolian Rhapsody, extra special bitter. Um, I don't know where that went at the end there, and I do apologise for everyone in and around Bristol. Um, you don't sound like that, I just, I don't know. The, an urge overwhelms me, and I apologise profusely. 5.8%, uh, uh, born and brewed in Bristol. I can't stop it, stop it. Um, contains barley, oats, wheat. Uh, brewed and canned by New Bristol Brewery, uh, Bristol, newbristolbrewery.co.uk. Uh, 440 mil can, 2.6 UK units. All the drink aware stuff. Uh, it tastes floral, earthy, and smooth. Not getting heaps of the floral, but a bit of that pininess, maybe. Um, I don't think it was the dominating feature. It says a deep chestnut coloured ale with a caramel malt sweetness, yes, and a subtle note of spice and orange. Oh, maybe that's the heat. Maybe the spice is the heat element part. But anyway. Um, Orange, not so much, but we'll, we'll come back to it and see. Uh, mellow bitterness with a satisfying finish. Yeah, absolutely. The hops are East Kent Goldings, traditional, and USA Cascade. Ooh, might have done myself a good one there. Uh, didn't get all of the flavor notes, but certainly the base elements largely picked up on there. I'm quite happy with that. Um, uh, let's come back to it and see. There's not a great more on the can, except for just, you know, a lot of flying uh, primates for some reason. Um, doesn't say anything about the artwork. Uh, I'm fairly confident looking back at this again with the size of that cliff that this is not Bristol. I've got no idea. I don't think it's Bristol, but who knows. Um, an artist's interpretation of Bristol, perhaps, um, how should primates take over the world. Um, it's vegan friendly and yeah, that is about it really. So, um, the tasting notes that we're a bit uncertain on really are the spice and the orange and the floral description. So, I mean, it doesn't give us any aroma cues, but has it changed? Not especially. Arguably starting to pick up a bit of a Christmassy vibe which could be kind of like spice and orange peel and stuff, but I'm not. It's it's very minute. And on the taste, I don't, I'm not getting a lot of citrus from it. And it's not particularly floral either. It's more piney, sweet pine. Sweet pine's what I'm getting, but anyway. It is what it is, and it's actually a damn good beer, to be honest, so um, I think we'll leave it there. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already subscribed, if you would be so kind, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.